Hey guys, welcome to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris Steltz. Tonight we're going to be looking at Three Floyds, another Three Floyds beer I get a lot of, a lot of requests for. This is their Alpha King. It is their American Pale Ale. Um, 6.0%, so you know, it's kind of pushing the border between Pale Ale and IPA. Um, so without further ado, it's you know really hot out here, so let me get this into a glass, uh, let you know how it smells, how it tastes, and we'll go from there. Okay, so the appearance on Three Floyd's Alpha King, um, you know, I, I kind of have to laugh because the, the saying on the, the six-pack holder says it's not normal, and that about sums this beer up. Keep in mind, this is a pale ale. Um, you know, it's a deep, dark orange slash brown and red. You know, it's got those ruby tones to it. An off-white head, um, you know, an eggshell, khaki-type head, about one finger's worth. Tons of carbonation pouring off the bottom. It is pretty clear. Um, I would imagine it is filtered. I don't see too much haze in it. There's a little bit, but you know, nothing too, too out there. But uh, yeah, this is a pale ale, not an IPA. Um, so you know, as far as uh, the way it goes, according to a pale ale, it is completely off the charts as far as the looks goes. It's just, it's, it's a really beautiful beer, actually. You okay, see so the aroma on Alpha King. It's one of my, one of my personal favorites. Yeah, there's a ton of uh, uh, citrus to it, lemon, grapefruit, ton of grapefruit, orange peels in there, and then kind of at the back of at back of the nose, once it's you know kind of in your nasal cavity and all that, you get a lot of uh, sweet fruits, a lot of pininess to it. It's very West Coast smelling, but at the same time still being like a middle of the country kind of IPA aroma to it. And again, this is a pale ale, so you know I did just say that. Um, you do get some malts, and you do get actually a little bit of alcohol in it, which is always kind of surprising on this beer. It is 6%, but there is definitely kind of that, um, you know, that nose to it. Okay, so the taste of uh, Alpha King. I, I've had this a couple times, and like I said, each time I do enjoy it. Yeah. Such a, a solid drinkable beer and that's really the best way to put it um, you know tons of you know a huge amount of bitterness right up front in the mouth um, kind of fades into the back and while it's fading you're just getting slammed with grapefruit characteristics I mean it literally tastes like you're eating a piece of grapefruit a little bit of orange zest a little bit of uh, orange peel zest a little bit of lemon zest in there a little bit of like a peach, mango, tropical fruit taste to it, a little bit of pininess, and there is definitely a malt backbone. There's a little bit of caramel, a little bit of toffiness, a little bit of roasted malt in there. Um, it just blends perfectly together, and it's just one of the easiest drinking, most sessionable beers that you know, you're gonna find, and that's really why this beer is so popular. Okay, so the verdict on Alpha King from Three Floyds, it's it's one of my favorites. Um, it's one of those beers, you know, that if you have it, you're gonna like it. Um, hopheads, you know, crave this beer. It's one of those beers that just, you know, it's it's become kind of a staple in the craft beer community, and it's kind of the, set the bar for a lot of uh, pale ales and IPAs. I mean, it's hard to call this a pale ale. It really is, and I understand what Three Floyds is doing. They've always kind of taken their own, taken traditional styles and kind of done their own thing to it and if you look at my last review for their black heart they did that exact same thing with the uk ipa and just knocked it out of the park and they do this again with their with the the pale ale style um it, you know it's got the the bitterness it's got the the sweet caramel it's got the toffee and then it just has loads of different um varietals of hops that all do different things you've got your citrus you've got your you know your tropical fruits you've got your bitterness you've got your pine in there um, just the overall package, the appearance is just, you know, spot on, it's clear, it, the color is just gorgeous. The aroma, you know, just, the, you know, what you want out of a pale ale slash IPA if you're a hophead. 
Um, and, you know, I can't recommend this beer enough. It's getting an A, A plus for me. It's a great beer. The only issue is it is hard to get. Three Floyds only distributes to about five states. Um, I get mine online, you know, so I pay a little bit more for it, but, you know, it's worth it. Um, I highly recommend it. Again, this is Three Floyd. It is their Three Floyd's Alpha King. This is 6% ABV, year-round beer, highly recommended. And until next time, life's too short, drink great beers.